Looking at the Tallinn man of Denmark face to face is enough to give anyone a buzz, considering the remarkable preservation over 2,000 years or more. The peat has mummified his face so perfectly, you can even see the tiny wrinkles around his eyes and the reddish stubble on his chin. You could almost imagine the man waking up and speaking to you. The tall man's face is very expressive. His survivors has arranged him exactly like a sleeping person. They also bent his arm and his legs exactly like a sleeping child when they put him out in the box. If he was a man they have executed because of some kind of criminality, I think that they would just have thrown him out. And that demonstrates for me that he was a sacrifice. In Iron Age times, these strange marshes were chosen as places of sacrifice because of their strange quality, neither solid ground nor water. So the Iron Age peoples thought bogs held a particular religious significance as the entrance to the world of the gods, the other world, the perfect place to offer their most precious gift, a human life. The Tollen man was once such a gift and is still considered a gift to the Danes. He was found in a bog in Jutland, Denmark's main island. It's a place of wild marshlands, watery fjords and inlets, and well-renowned museums such as the Silkeborg Museum, where the Tollen man now resides. But the Tollen man's 50-year sleep is about to be disturbed as a team of scientists is preparing to undertake a detailed analysis of his remains. Will a CAT scan reveal exactly how he died?